Army, welcome back. My name is Chris, the Comic Vet. Hope this video finds you safe and well. Well, recently I've had a lot of fun opening some of those Walmart blind packs, you know, the Marvel and the DC ones. Uh, this week, let's do it all over again. I've got three, yes, three more of these terrific blind packs. I've got a pair of DC and one Marvel. Now I've had a lot of luck recently opening some of these. I found some very cool ratios, some incredible variants, and uh, I'm hoping today to carry on. Let's open one of the DC. As I'm opening this, I do have two DC and one marble. Right off the bat, the reason why this particular pack was chosen is because there's a photo cover for Batman Killing Time number one, and it features Robert Pattinson's Batman and three, two, one. Zoe Kravitz's Catwoman. Took me a second there. I apologize. But yeah, when I saw this cover, I knew that this was the pack. So we're moving forward with this very, very cool Batman Killing Time number one variant from the very successful The Batman Movie. Up next from Jeff Johns, Jason Fabok, and Brad Anderson. It's book two, and the variant for Batman Three Jokers. Very, very cool. That black label image. I believe this is just less than two years old now. It was very su successful in its time. Uh, from Future State, this is The Flash, issue number one. Very cool. I don't think I've read this book, and I did read a lot of the Future State uh, stories. Yeah. Future State Flash, number one. Oh, very cool. From Brian, Mi <clears throat> pardon me, from Brian Michael Bendis. This is issue number one of six, Justice League versus the Legion of Superheroes. Very cool. Uh, also features an hat on the back for the Batman movie. All right, not a bad pack, can't complain. I did enjoy three Jokers. My favorite Joker, of course, is the one from The Killing Joke. My favorite Batman story of all time. So let's get into this Marvel pack. And this Marvel pack features a really cool cover on the front, the reason why it was chosen. It's the variant edition for Wolverine patch, issue number one. I believe this story is actually only about two months old now. I don't think it's it hits issue three at the time of the recording of this video, but it is the Walmart exclusive variant. Very cool. It, return, it features the return of Wolverine ass patch, uh, helmed by Larry Hama. Up next, this is X-Men issue number six. I don't think I've seen this cover before. Yes. X-Men number six. Very cool. Jerry Duggan is the writer. And last but not least, is this, oh, uh, 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm featuring the variant cover for Solo, uh, that movie, for Bounty Hunters, issue 19. Very cool. Very, very cool. I don't think I've seen this one before either. All right. The movie variant for Solo from Star Wars Bounty Hunters, issue number 19. All right, very cool. Last but not least, we will now get back into another DC book. As I'm opening this, I'm gonna ask you all, please consider hitting that like button. Go ahead and leave a comment at the end of this video. Let me know what you think. Did DC outdo Marvel? Did Marvel outdo DC? What was your favorite cover? And most certainly, please consider hitting that subscribe button. 
up front it's issue number one of six featuring christopher reeves take on superman 78 who's the writer for this vendetti right very cool where we have all the artwork featured as the original uh superman actors and actresses like i said christopher reeves uh superman margot kidder lois lane gene hackman as uh, Lex Luthor and uh, in this particular miniseries they actually had um, Brainiac as the main villain. Oh DC you went ahead and did it again. So one of these books is actually a free book. Not cool, not cool. It's that free giveaway for the introduction to DC's future state right a free book and a pack that you pay for with that being said they really just <laughs> kind of redeemed themselves all right uh is this issue number one i hope it is but this is far sector from jemison and canadian jamal campbell Very, very nice. This is a variant cover. It is a prestige format book. I can tell you that uh, the cover itself is a much better quality stock. Um, again, it doesn't say what issue number one it is, so I'm presuming it's issue number one. All right. Nice redemption. Nice redemption. Last but not least is issue number two from Tom Taylor's epic storyline that's still in progress, actually. It's Dark Knights of Steel. Issue number two. The DC Universe kind of meets Lord of the Rings and then goes from there. Well, Comic Army, that's it. That's all. That Far Sector book is actually really cool. So is that Star Wars cover featuring the characters from Solo. With that being said, let me know what you think. Until we see you again, take care. <laughs>